This is Charles Greenberg, and I'm the Director of Business Development at Data Foundations. I hope you are all settled and comfortably for this webinar. So you know, we'll be reserving the last 15 minutes for Q&A, but please do feel free to take advantage of the Q&A box to the lower left-hand side of your screen during our presentation. Having questions in advance will only help maximize our time. As you may be aware, Data Foundations is a software products and services company dedicated to the better management of shared or shareable enterprise-wide data. We take this to include master data, reference data, and metadata management areas. We were established in 1998 and Data Foundations is a pioneer in the master data and reference data space. Our product is known as OneData, and this is a single framework that effectively manages all shareable enterprise-wide data, including operational and, and analytical master data, multi-domain master data, multiple styles of MDM, transactional, consolidated, hybrid, reference data, and shared metadata. This is a fact our customers in many large organizations will readily attest to. Today, our focus is on metadata discovery and analysis, and it's important to better master data management. We'll discuss why a successful approach to defining and managing metadata is an absolutely essential prerequisite for any organization undertaking an enterprise-wide master data management program, or for that matter, a data quality, business intelligence, or data integration initiative. Let's take a moment to review our webinar's agenda. Firstly, we're going to take a look at the typical paradigm of how organizations currently manage metadata. There is a fairly mature metadata management discipline and process, and certainly there are benefits to doing it the way it is done now. However, the new requirements brought about by MDM and other data integration projects require the definition and scope of metadata to be expanded and necessitate a more active approach to metadata management. So here we will talk about the new paradigm, managing metadata by creating a standard enterprise metadata layer that is incrementally built based on analysis and discovery. We will discuss this layer as well as design paradigms. Next, we'll share with you some approaches to building the comprehensive metadata standard layer. And finally, we'll give you an overview of a new tool designed for discovering, analyzing, and managing metadata developed by data foundations and based on our own best practices. Summarizing now the current situation. Why change in paradigm the need? What is the new paradigm, how to do it, and the tool to do it with? I'll state the obvious. Metadata is everywhere. It's in your functional applications. It's in your database dictionaries. It's in your modeling tools. It's in BI and reporting tools. It is embedded in ETL tools and so on. Metadata is structure, definition, rules, transformations, derivations, and of late, domains. We will be discussing all these later with respect to the metadata standard layer. Let's establish a simple illustration of sample metadata. You know this, of course, but we'll be using this schematic later to make different points. So, we have relational tables and columns, XML schemas, other dictionaries, logical and physical models from modeling tools, ETL and BI metadata linked primarily to the physical database layer, and other kinds of metadata with business rules, governance rules, processes, glossaries that could potentially be housed in Excel spreadsheets or Java application code. 
The focus of most of today's metadata repositories and tool sets has been on getting metadata from different sources into a single repository. This approach brings several benefits. Key is visibility and reporting. It enables organizations to view data lineage, compare structures, and view definitions if available in a single portal. The single portal makes it easy to access metadata. However, this approach is mostly passive and after the fact collection to a certain extent. Further, metadata integrated from different environments may still be segregated from each other as each may have its own standards and conventions. For example, data dictionaries read from databases and metadata extracted from ETL tools may not refer to the same source system's convention. We struggle with the fact that ETL metadata is so highly technical at the very granular level that it loses its significance. Even if we are able to recreate the hundreds of intermediate transformation steps outside of the ETL tool. But that's a discussion for another day. The current approach is focused on consolidation and metadata integration where possible. Sometimes we see taxonomies, ontologies, process metadata, business rules classified as metadata but not under the same umbrella repository. Okay, let's look at four different business scenarios that illustrate the need for change in the current paradigm of metadata management. Here's a typical data integration example, a large organization with disparate systems. 30 years ago, of course, companies had one big mainframe and that had its own set of problems. Then. There was the move to decentralized computing, and that produced a different set of problems, namely how to consolidate back to one major system. In this illustration, we have three different applications providing three different versions of the same customer record, three different systems independently creating customer information, a different address for the same customer, different manifestations of sales and net sales. When you delve in deeper, syntactical issues such as length of customer name or manifestation of customer field name. First name, last name, or first name, last name, middle name, etc. come into play. Let's consider a new system landscape in terms of creating a new data warehouse or new system landscape that is a reconsolidation of two of the three transactional systems into a single ERP platform. Both of these require data integration between two or possibly three of the systems. Integration on definitions and semantics is one aspect, i.e. sales. Creating a consolidated cleansed customer master that is a unique set is more MDM focused. Lots of 